Well, hello, hello, hello on this gorgeous Monday. And hello to everybody who's tuning in from afar online. <sighs> you guys still talking about the weekend? You know, Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> no, so, well, we've got no Joe tonight. I know, but give a big welcome for the guy that you guys already know and love, our Josh Bear. Good evening. All right. On behalf of VisitLex.com, Woodsong's partners, KET, WEKU 88.9 FM, RFD-TV, and Mayor Linda Gordon and the City of Lexington, Welcome to the 974th taping session of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, a worldwide public radio and TV broadcast in the tradition of the Grand Ole Opry and Austin City Limits, heard by over 2 million listeners worldwide. We'd like to send out a special thanks to the Travel Host Magazine, the Bluegrass Hospitality Association, the Hilton Lexington Downtown Hotel, plus Hyper Spring Water, Nate's Coffee in Lexington for keeping us Nice and caffeinate with your great coffee and Renata's Bistro for feeding the crew and artists a super, super delicious meal tonight. As a reminder, you can make reservations for all the shows on our website, woodsongs.com, including our show this coming Monday, May 13th, as we celebrate the blues with the legendary Watermelon Slim plus the old-time music duo of Lover's Leap. Tickets are free for Woodsong's partners and $10 for the public. As you're leaving, you can make reservations at our Lyric Theater box office, or you can, if you're a Woodsong's partner, you get your own special reservation hotline number. If you're not a Woodsong's partner already, our volunteers will have pamphlets for you as you're going out. And they'll tell you how to become a Woodsongs partner. It's a great deal for you. Helps to keep our wheels on turning. And then once you're a Woodsongs partner, you can make your reservations through that reservation hotline number. So for all the partners out there, say that number loud and clear with me. It's 252-8888. Perfect. All right. So a couple of reminders. No uh, flash photography. We're going to go ahead ask that you turn off the uh, cell phone ringers, pagers, beepers, no semaphore flags, although if you do that, I would be impressed to see that. Um, refreshment stand is open. Go for it. <laughs> go for them. Get yourself some wines, beer, popcorn, all that. Um, now, remember, at the end of the show, Michael's going to come out. He's going to go next week on the, and that's your all's cue to get really loud, get really boisterous, you know, like last week, you guys were beautiful. And let's give these uh, artists that we've got here, treat them to some good old Kentucky hospitality. So, you're going to say, uh, what song, Old Time Radio Hour? So, we'll give, give it a shot. Next week on the... I think we'll keep you. I think we'll keep you. So as long as nothing goes wrong, the show should be ending promptly, 8 o'clock, to be followed by the encore section. We ask that you please stay seated for the encore because Michael oftentimes has a special announcement that you don't want to miss, and you know the artist will throw down something super special. So are you guys ready for the show to begin? That was okay. We're almost there. Are you guys ready for the show to begin? There we go. <laughs> nice. Let's welcome to the stage the host of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour musician, Michael Jonathan. Hey, everybody, and welcome to uh, Wood Songs. Let's say hello to Jerome Galt, our chief engineer, sitting in the back. Everybody gets their seats. I am up here very, very proud to say that uh, Chuck Wagon Gang is here. And uh, the Small Glories are here. 
And the princess, the queen of Kentucky music, Ruth McLean Smith, is playing upright bass. <laughs> McLean family band. Wood songs last about an hour. Sometimes things break. If it does, uh, this is an amazing crew. They're, uh, very soon, we'll have produced over a thousand of these Wood songs broadcast. Looks like November. That's going to happen. And the Wood songs crew certainly deserves a big round of thanks and applause. They worked so hard, so hard. After the show's over, the uh, artists will be in the lobby. They brought their CDs. They want to meet you. They want to be able to talk to you. And certainly that's a chance for you to welcome them to uh, Wood Songs. And uh, remember, your role with the show is incredibly important. You are the spirit, the passion, the sound of uh, the audiences on over 500 radio stations around the world, plus television. And uh, so you are representing how those audiences feel. So be as passionate with your role as the artists will be with their songs and their music. So let's have some fun. We're going to invite the uh, head of our volunteer crew, Miss Amelia, is going to set our show clock in the expert fashion that she does every week. And we're going to see how much time. She's not sure. OK, we got 40 seconds. Actually, we have a minute and 40 seconds. You want to scoot that over? We can fix that, right? <coughs> Wood Songs, of course, is the country home of public radio. Yes, 30 seconds. Just enough to make believe I'm in tune. <coughs> Support for Wood Song Show number 974 is provided by the Deering Banjo Company, Martin Guitars, Fransky String Instruments, Ear Trumpet Mics, Travel Host Magazine, and by our family of Wood Songs partners. Wood Songs is now available for use by teachers and homeschool families, complete with lesson plans, available on the classroom page of woodsongs.com. The City of Lexington and visit Lex.com. The Bluegrass Hospitality Association and the elegant Hilton Lexington Downtown Hotel. Welcoming visitors to Lexington, Kentucky, the horse capital of the world, and home for parks, museums, festivals, great music, and wood songs. Take your next vacation trip to the musical State of Kentucky. For information, visit our website at woodsongs.com. Here on the Louisiana Hayride, his name is... Hank Williams, the drifting cowboy. <laughs> on the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Monroe and his bluegrass boys. <laughs> Hi, this is Amy Lou Harris. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer Michael Jonathan. Oh, we love old songs on this show. In the 1950s, Ralph Stanley and his brother introduced a great old tune that bluegrass bands play all over the world now, lightning fast. But John Hartford found that when you slow them down, when you treat them kindly, they become beautiful volumes of Americana music. This is one of those songs. It's called East Virginia Blues. It goes like this. I was born in East Virginia, North Carolina, did I roam? There I met a fair young maiden, her name and age I do not know. Well, her hair was dark and curly. And her cheeks a ruby red On her breast she wore white lilies Where I longed to lay my head I was born in East Virginia North Carolina 
Did I wrong? There I met a fair young lady, fame and age. I did not know. Let's let the chorus. Don't know my sorrow. Corden does. Don't know my pain. Once they've parted from one another, they fly away from love again. I was born in East Virginia. Let the chorus sing one more time. I was born in East Virginia. The Woodsongs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by our family of Woodsongs partners and by VisitLex.com, an online vacation guide to, vi to visit historic Lexington, Kentucky. While in Kentucky, you can visit the cafes, horse parks, music festivals, art and cultural world of Lexington. The home of the Woodsongs Old Time Radio Hour, online at VisitLex.com. And by the Deering Banjo Company, making handcrafted banjos for professionals and beginning players. You can visit their full catalog of banjos online at DeeringBanjos.com. And welcome, everybody, to the beautiful and historic Lyric Theater in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky. We're broadcasting all over the world as we celebrate this magnificent world of independent grassroots music. Artists come from everywhere to be on our stage, from Australia to Ireland, New Zealand to New York, Yuma, Arizona to the Yukon and northern Canada, and we say it every single week. You don't have to be famous to be on Wood Songs. You just have to be very, very good. We've got a wonderful Wood Songs kid to introduce to you, a great duo from Canada, but first up is a group that has collectively sold over 40 million records. They've been together as a group collectively for over 75 years. The latest incarnation has one of the legendary family members as part of the group, and you're going to recognize the history and legacy, because back in the 1920s, a, a fellow wrote a beautiful song, and in the 1940s, this group recorded, and it became a huge, huge million-selling record. Record. It went like this. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away, fly away, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. Got reintroduced to audiences all over the world because of the O oh Brother motion picture, but this is the legendary group that helped make that record possible. We're going to be able to talk to them at length about their history as well as their new music. They've got a new album called No Depression in Heaven. This is a, a great song called Somebody's Boy. Please welcome the incredible Chuck Wagon Gang to the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio Hour. Footsteps right 
song is Somebody's Boy from a brand new album, No Depression in Heaven. It's the Chuck Wagon Gang. We've got uh, Carl uh, Smokula on acoustic guitars, Melissa Kemper singing, Stan Hill singing the, the low end, and Shay Smith. Let's say hi to Shay. It's nice to have you here. Hello. Thank you for being part of it. Now, you are, you are part of the uh, Legacy family that is, that is uh, the, the Chuck Wagon gang. And yeah. let's talk for a moment about the, the early years, okay? When, when, okay. The, when they first started out, Chuck Wagon gang, I mean, my God, they came out of the box, just a powerhouse. And it was very simple back then. It was the, the four voices around a single acoustic guitar. That's right. And That's so, right. And so, so tell me about the, the, the story of how that started and why that started. Well, my grandmother was the original alto and uh, she had eight brothers and sisters, and uh, then mom and dad Carter. They uh, they lived in uh, West Texas during the Depression years, so in the in the 30s, and uh, they were itinerant cotton field hands, um, but they loved to sing, mm -hmm. and so uh, they wound up in a radio station in Fort Worth, Texas, about 1935, uh, WBAP Radio, and acquired a, a sponsor there, Bewley Mills Flower Company, and that's where they got the name, the Chuck Wagon Gang, about 1936, and then. It's the stuck, and, and there, yeah, there, and there right. you are. And so, for seventy-five years, this is this is a this is a, a huge legacy, very similar to say Blind Boys of Alabama and and other mm -hmm. uh, groups of of this genre. And now you have this uh, new record, and it's it's probably a fun thing to keep the energy alive to this legacy and this history. Well, without a doubt, we. Um, we, we look back on the history of the Chuck Wagon Gang, and we've often said that Dad Carter, if he knew that these many years later it would still be going on, he probably would be shocked. But it's the, it's the simplicity, um, but the, just the love of the music that's kept it going. Now, let's, let's talk about the difference, because uh, some folks might get confused, logically so. There's, there's the Carter family. And then there's the Carter family. There's two, <laughs> right. there's two separate, when they're not related, are they? Not at all. Not at all. We uh, get that question every night. Are y'all uh, related to Mother Maybell Carter? And we have to say no. Different family. <laughs> different, different, different Carter family. And and I, I think uh, I think uh, Stan, you and I were talking about. Let's let's say hi to Stan Hill, uh, singing there in the background. So you and I were talking that that it seems like once upon a time the two Carter dads sat down and tried to figure out if there was a lineage connection or something. We we've had that told to us that yeah. somewhere down the line they ran into each other and sat down and had a talk tried to find some family connection, mm -hmm. and as Shay said, they just never could, uh, never could find that connection. They didn't have Ancestry.com back then, so <laughs> right. it's yeah, kind of... They didn't have a lot of things back then. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and standing next to you is Melissa Kemper. Let's say hi to Melissa Kemper, one of the hi. fine singers. How did you become part of the uh, Chuck Wagon Gang? How did that happen for you? Uh, well, well, I would say by accident, but I know it was, it was, it was, God, it was divine intervention. I, I grew up in a small town in East Texas, mm -hmm. Groveton, population 1,051. Yay. And in 2000, the Chuck Wagon Gang did a concert. I, um, I sang during the intermission with my mom, mm -hmm. and a year and a half later, the manager of the group called back to Groveton, the fire chief, to find out who was that girl that sang in the... They remembered a year and a half later? Mm -hmm. and, and the fire chief that put on the concert happened to be my father. Well so... <laughs> So and he's I like, yeah, there, she's really good. You're going to like her. <laughs> so I, so I, I, he said, I can't remember exactly what you sounded like. I just remember how I felt when I heard you. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to hear you again. And, and what did you think? What did you think? Here, one minute you're opening, for, you're, you're on stage with this legendary group, and then a year and a half later, they're hunting you down trying to find you. I mean, that's... It was it was a uh, quite a big day in Groveton, Texas. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, behind you is Carl Smacula, Smacula, sorry, Carl Smacula, and uh, you were found uh, uh, to, to be part of the group. You were you were part of the uh, the music courses in uh, Johnson City, right? That's correct. Yeah, I I received a Bachelor of Arts in Bluegrass, Old Time, and Country Music from East Tennessee. Say State. that again. It sounds so amazing. Bachelor of Arts in Bluegrass, Old Time, and Music. Who would have ever <laughs> thought that, right? <laughs> Who would have thought that? And so uh, uh, you were sitting around, and your father's the fire chief, and somebody called, right? <laughs> how, did it, how did you end up getting it? Uh, because you're technically the rookie. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but the, uh, I, I was, I had worked with, other, I graduated, and I worked uh, with a variety of other groups, you know, in country and 
bluegrass and stuff. And I had, I received a call from the director of that program, uh, Dan Boner, and he, he asked if I was familiar with the Chuck Wagon Gang. And I said no. And, uh, <laughs> Well, let's, we're going to follow this uh, thread of ignorance in the second half hour because it's a fascinating story and I don't want to I don't want to cut it short. Their new CD is called No Depression in Heaven. This is a song called There's a Hill Lone and Gray. It is the legendary Chuck Wagon Gang on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio. Hour. From their new CD, No Depression in Heaven, the legendary Chuck Wagon Gang, 40 million records later. If you want to revisit the music of the Chuck Wagon Gang, if you want to watch what you're hearing on the radio, just visit the Wood Songs website, click on the archive page. This is show number 974. You get to watch them as well as our next artists. Both of them come from our neighbors of the north in Canada. They've got a great first CD that they're going to introduce themselves the song from. Wondrous Traveler is the name of the record. Had I Paid is the song. Please welcome from Canada, The Small Glories on the Wood Songs. Old time radio value. I rolled out my twenties, moving on through my thirties. I got forty set of me on down the road. I gotta get there and add some say, gotta use up all your daylight before it goes out for good. Without any strings Cause I'm freezing up in my hotel Feeling the love to the ones I belong to I ain't treating you right oh, And all my life I've been afraid And maybe I'd be better off Had I Just 
what I really long for. She stands up on my way, the bashing cart is my face, and I go down again. at 22. Do you want to change your string? Or? Yes! Because <laughs> we have nothing else to do right now. No, I, that, that's a... That's that's a that doesn't happen very often. Well. But welcome to Kentucky! Woo! Kentucky has had a lot of surprises lately. <laughs> yeah, we were watching some horse thing the other day, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's just a... Just a little surprise. So we're going to let them change their string. I don't think you need to do it over. It's fine. Good. If you guys were cool with that. I totally agree. Okay, that. great. So we're going to let him uh, change the string, and uh, you guys can uh, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> See, if you used Martin strings, that wouldn't happen. <laughs> let's let's uh, sit in a chair and face the audience and let them watch you change the strings. You want to see my butt? Okay. Have you ever seen a guitar string changing session before? But, but yes, it's, ha it's no, it's happened. It's happened. It's happened. We usually tell we usually tell banjo jokes when things like this happen. But you can if you want. Uh, well, how long does it take to tune a banjo? Forever. Nobody knows. Somebody got that one. <laughs> what a banjo and a lawsuit have in common? Everybody feels better when the case is. What do you call a woman on the arm of a banjo player? A tattoo. Yeah! <laughs> Why are there no banjos on Star Trek? It's the future. Come on. What do you call one banjo at the bottom of the ocean? I didn't hear you. Say it again. What do you call one banjo at the bottom of the ocean? A start. A good start. A start. A good start. Okay. Did you hear about the guy who had his prize banjo in the back seat of his car and he went to go get eggs at the Piggly Wiggly? Do they have Piggly Wiggly down here? They okay. used to. 
we don't have them up there, so I had to use an American chain. They Any, left, the Piggly Wiggly left with the winner of the Kentucky Derby. Oh. <laughs> so while the guy was getting his eggs, he realized he forgot to lock his car, and he thought, oh no, somebody's gonna steal my prize banjo. So he went running out to his car, and there were three banjos in the back seat of his car. <laughs> Fastest way to tune a banjo? Wire cutters. <laughs> what do you call a banjo player without a girlfriend? What do you call what? What do you call a banjo player without a girlfriend? Homeless. 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 <laughs> What's the difference between a trampoline and a banjo? People, people take their shoes off when they jump on trampolines. <laughs> okay, enough banjo jokes, man. <laughs> I, I have one more good one. Yeah, please tell it, tell it. No. <laughs> Does that sound all right? You're not going to tell it, Mike? Huh? What, what do you say to a banjo player in a three-piece suit? Will the defendant please rise? <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Are we in tune? Did you check your tuning? Good enough for folk music? Is that what they say? <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> shoot. They're really endearing to, they're endeared to yeah. us now, J.D. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Set it for 22. I hope you didn't mind the break. The break. Get it? The break. Close enough since it's folk music and all. Oh, no, Mike, you're just uh, digging more holes. Okay, so we're coming out of their first song, uh, Applaud Like You Loved It. Ready? Are we ready, Jerome? It's from their CD, Wondrous Traveler, Had I Paid, is the song, The Small Glories. J.D. Edwards on guitar and the great Carla Luft on banjo. Carla, how you doing? It's actually Kara, not Cara. Carla. Sorry, I, my, I felt distracted for a moment there. It's okay. So, so Carrie, you, you're a founding member of the Whalen Jennings, which was just a magnificent folk trio yeah. out of Canada. Yeah. And now you've uh, formed a musical partnership with uh, J.D. Edwards, and you guys sound so, so powerful. How did you guys uh, meet? How did you come together musically the way you did? There's a, a wonderful venue in Winnipeg called the West End Cultural Center, and they were having a big anniversary celebration, the 25th uh, birthday, and uh, the artistic director had this brilliant idea of inviting as many Winnipeg artists to come back to the venue who had played over those 25 years, and he paired everybody off, and he paired people off who were either different genres or people who had never sung or played together before. So we were given this challenge of playing with somebody who we didn't really know or didn't really know their music, and we were given also the other challenge of singing songs that we hadn't written, songs that were written by other Manitoba artists. So JD and I were partnered together, and we described uh, our, record, our rehearsal session is eating a lot of cinnamon buns and our brains exploding from excitement on how well our, our vocals uh, blended together. And your vocals <laughs> do blend together really well. I mean, uh, you, we have the uh, Checkwagon gang here, which is a very it's powerful vocal. And you two together vocals. are very powerful as well. I mean, your voices you. really do meld well. You are a, a Juno Award-winning musician, and you know, I guess in America that's like a Grammy. It's a, a Canadian version mm -hmm. of a Grammy. And what an honor that is, huh? Yeah. Especially for your, your home to be able to bestow that on mm -hmm. you. And here you are with a banjo. When did you start playing the banjo? When did that start for you? Um, I would say I've been playing for about nine years. I grew up though, in a folk singing family in Calgary, Alberta. Mm -hmm. My dad's been playing banjo for about 55, 60 years now. And uh, I was given a banjo when I was on tour with the Jennies. Didn't think I'd want to learn how to play. And because you were a guitar player, I'm a guitar. Then. I have been a guitar player all my life. Right. And uh, suddenly, I had three banjos. I thought I should learn, um, in honor of my folk heritage. My mom's a great ga guitar player as well, so I kind of, you know, music. And my dad, he's not very adept with um, FaceTime or Skype or anything. And I was living in Winnipeg. He's in Calgary. And I thought, well, who who would I take lessons from? Obviously, not him. So I took lessons from a guy in Winnipeg named Daniel Kulak. Daniel had learned from a wonderful American player named Kathy Fink, and Kathy yeah, Fink had learned from my dad, Barry Luft. So this is great. There's full a circle. circle, right? Yeah, it was really very cool. Well, you've got a uh, you've got a great uh, new album, a new new project too, uh, a Cinnabon in the red. A Cinnaboyne. A Cinnaboyne. Mm -hmm. A Cinnaboyne. Now, Cinnaboyne is a river. 
It is, in, yes. In Canada? Yes. And the red is also a river. Yeah. So, the, so it's where these two rivers merge, and this is sort mm -hmm. of what we have here with, with, with Kara Luft and with uh, J.D. Edwards, mm -hmm. these two musical rivers merging. Notice how I caught on to that so seamlessly. That was really, really Isn't that good. It's a pretty impressive. <laughs> <isn't> it? <laughs> Let's go ahead and dip into this wonderful new album. This is a tune called All My Love. It is from Canada, The Small Glories on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs> Carol Left and J.D. Edwards together. They are the Small Glories from Canada. We're going to get back to the Small Glories in the second half hour. We've got the legendary group Chuck Wagon Gang here. And wait until you meet this week's Wood Songs Kid. We're going to be back right after this. You're listening to Wood Song Show number 974, broadcasting around the world from the foothills of Appalachia in Lexington, Kentucky. If you would like to attend a Wood Songs broadcast, you can find reservation and show schedules on our website, woodsongs.com. We'll be back after the break with the Chuck Wagon Gang and the Small Glories on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour.
Wood Songs is presented in part by the Deering Banjo Company and VisitLex.com, welcoming families from all over the world to attend a broadcast in historic Lexington, Kentucky. Wood Songs is an all-volunteer-run celebration of grassroots music, providing a multimedia front porch for musicians and artists worldwide. You can visit our library of past shows, attend a broadcast, or become a Wood Songs partner from our website, WoodSongs.com. Hi, friends. This is your old buddy, Ralph Stanley, and I'd like to tell you that you're listening to Michael Jonathan and the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. There is a voice that we love and we miss so much, Ralph Stanley. Welcome, everybody, to our broadcast here at our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky, the historic Lyric Theater at the crossroads of America's folk and bluegrass music, the gateway city to the magnificent Appalachian Mountains. We're broadcasting on over 537 radio stations worldwide, from Art Sound FM and Voice FM in Australia to WSM in Nashville, Tennessee, all the way to Dublin City FM in Ireland. And we are so proud to be able to also uh, welcome the listeners to American Forces Radio Network. We're broadcasting on two channels in 177 nations from South Korea to Kuwait, plus every single military base, every U.S. naval ship in the world, every Coast Guard vessel sailing in North America. And as always, we remember to say hello to the men and the women out there, the fans, the families, the public, bringing them a little taste of home. We're on public television from Los Angeles to Las Vegas to Vermont and everywhere in between. We're on the RFD television network as well. And most importantly, I think, is because Wood Songs is also available in schools. It's available to teachers and homeschool families. If you go to the Wood Songs website, click on the classroom page, uh, my goodness, we've got an amazing array of uh, broadcasts available with lesson plans for your students to be introduced to this wonderful world of grassroots front porch music, the Chuck Wagon Gang, Small Glories, and so many artists that have been on our show. And because of that, this time every broadcast, we invite a youngster to come on our show from somewhere in North America. They come last week, they were from Florida. Uh, today we found a uh, youngster, and his name is Eli Patrick, 14 years old. Let's say hi to Eli. How you doing, buddy? So Eli, you're here with uh, your banjo. When did you start playing the banjo? I guess I was about 11 years old. Uh, just a couple years ago, really. You yeah. just turned 14, right? Yes. And, uh, and uh, you come from a musical family, do you? Yes, I do. So you're surrounded with it, right? A lot, lot. Yes. And uh, this is like a passion of yours. Do you spend a lot of time with your banjo, or are you sitting there in front of the TV wishing you could play? I, I spend quite a bit of time with this banjo. Yeah. Well, we're about to find out how, how, how well you play. Uh, you normally play with a group, right? You don't play solo a whole lot. That's exactly right. So this is this is unique, and you're gonna you're gonna play a song that I think uh, Earl Scruggs kind of made popular, That's Bill Monroe, right? right? Yes. You like that old, good, solid, traditional bluegrass banjo picking? Yes, I do. Who's your banjo hero? Earl Scruggs. Earl Scruggs. <laughs> What a uh, coincidence. <laughs> well, Earl Scruggs uh, made popular a tune called Lonesome Road Blues, and you're going to play that solo on your banjo. You ready? I reckon. Okay. He's, from, uh, he's uh, from West Liberty, Kentucky. He's a hometown boy. Eli Patrick, 14 years old, this week's Wood Songs Kid. Good banjo playing Lonesome Road Blues. This week's Wood Songs kid, Eli Patrick, he's 14 years old. Can you imagine playing a banjo like that when you're 14 years old? What a cool thing. Good job, Eli. Good job. 
If you've got a youngster that you think belongs on our stage, we'd love for you to uh, send a little YouTube clip to us. We look at every single submission that comes in. Just send it to me personally, michael at woodsongs.com, and we would love to consider your youngster for a position on the national broadcast. And having said that, they get to follow the Woodsongs kid. They've got a new CD, No Depression in Heaven. This is a tune called When Our Lord Shall Come Again. It is the legendary Chuck Wagon Gang on the Woodsongs Old Time Radio Hour. From their brand new CD, No Depression in Heaven, Chuck Wagon Gang. The guy we didn't talk to yet is uh, Stan Hill, the good looking guy standing in the back. Why don't you come on up here? <laughs> so, uh, we, we asked everybody, let's ask you, how did you become a member of the Chuck Wagon Gang? How did oh. Because there's been a lot of interchangeable yeah. uh, members by nece necessity sure. through the years, sure. right? 83 years, there's been a little over 50 members, I wow. guess, all together. I was singing uh, with some friends in a theater and uh, didn't really know the Chuck Wagon Gang was still uh, traveling at the time, and they came and used our theater a couple of weekends, so I went one Sunday night and caught a program and was just absolutely blown away because they still sounded like the Chuck Wagon Gang after all these years. And you thought, how can I bump one of those members off? <laughs> So little did I, I know, yeah, yeah, little did I know uh, the tenor was getting ready to retire. And oh, when I left the program, uh, I just kind of said, you know, you guys ever need a fill-in, let me know. And about three months later, I got a phone call. It, you know, it seems like the longer time goes, the more likely you're going to get called yeah. <laughs> with this, with this, this group. So, right. and, and we were talking backstage, too. One of the nice things about the Chuck Wagon Gang, and this is a tradition that is starting to come back, but it's the, uh, it's the proper dress. This kind of music, this particular kind of music, the proper dress, the you know, Earls of Leicester are doing that with the suits. And we notice our, our Wood Songs kid, Eli Patrick, dressed impeccably tonight. <laughs> Suit and tie. And that's sort of the tradition of, uh, of, of this kind of music as well. Sure. You know, I told you backstage, if, if, if it's good enough for A.P. Carter and D.P. Carter, it's good enough for me. It's good so. enough for you. <laughs> well, you guys have a, a, such a wonderful uh, legacy. And, uh, and uh, Shay Smith, one of the uh, uh, relatives of the founding groups, you, uh, 
It must mean a lot to your family that you have taken the initiative to keep the Chuck Wagon gang going and, and, and keep it going, I mean, worldwide still. Well, there always seems to be someone there to carry the mantle when uh, that whatever family member is kind of in charge at the time decides to, to uh, step off the wagon. There's somebody there to, to kind of keep it going. And was that a hard decision for you to take the reins of something uh, so important to American music? I mean, the, the legacy of the Chuck Wagon. People, I mean, Merle Haggard and Marty Stewart and Ray Price all credit mm -hmm. the Chuck Wagon gang as major influences to their own music and their careers. I mean, that's a big, that's a big shoe to fill. Uh, definitely. And it took me a long time to really understand what the, check, what, what the Chuck Wagon Gang really is. Um, to actually be part of it and to travel and sing and hear folks' stories night after night and then you begin to understand uh, the impact that it's had on folks and, and their lives for so long. And, and the new album, No Depression in Heaven, is sort of a, 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 a collection, a tribute to this Carter family that you belong to. Uh, talk, talk about the album. Talk about the making of this album. Well, we talked about AP and, and, and DP Carter, uh, two different families. There's Mother Maybell, Sarah, and AP Carter. On one side. And they were all from uh, Virginia. Then there's DP Carter, my Carter family from Kentucky. Yay! Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> kind of coming home. But uh, there, there's always been confusion, and so we decided we would do a tribute record to the Mother Maybell Carter family, and we went back and found 12 of their gospel songs mm -hmm. and uh, recorded them Chuck Wagon style. Well, this is, a, this is a wonderful thing for you guys to do and a generous thing musically to give tribute to the other Carter family, Absolutely. which I think is wonderful. Yes. No Depression in Heaven is the name of the album. This is the title cut of this magnificent record. It's the Chuck Wagon Gang on the Wood Songs. Old time radio. Hour. For fear the hearts of men are failing, these are the latter days we know. For dread.
Title cut of an amazing new record, No Depression in Heaven, tribute to JP and Mother Maybell Carter in the voices of the Chuck Wagon Gang. If you want to revisit this music that you're hearing on the radio, if you want to watch what you're seeing on the radio, visit uh, the Wood Songs website, click on the archive page. This is show number 974. They're visiting us from uh, Canada. They've got a great record called Assiniboine and the Red, about two rivers in Canada meeting together. This is a tune called Second Hand. Welcome them back. It's the Small Glories on the Wood Songs. Old Time Radio Hour. I begged you don't do it justice If you could see the things I see Don't need to hear about a second hand You'd be there if you did to come along with me Across the bay, the autumn leaves turn the hills to flame. A small bird just fluttered by, singing out your name. Maybe we could rent a boat, sail across the sunlit bay. You wrapped up in your winter coat, just to keep the wind away. Spend the afternoon saying nothing. And when the sun goes down, light a fire and drink some wine, slowly drive back into town. The pecs are don't do it justice, if you can see the things I see, don't need to hear about a second hand, you'll be there if you dare to come along with me. street has a name remind me of the places that I've been to it all begins to look the same but underneath the banners and the lights my mind begins to change the humming that I'm feeling at the center of town keeps calling out your name I wish that you could take along sit beside me at a restaurant Drink a whiskey to three in the morning Singing harmony on that karaoke song Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going, going on and on and on The pets are going do it justice If you can see the things I see Don't need to hear about a second hand Come along with me. I beg it all to do justice. If you can see the things I see, don't need to hear about a second hand. You'll be there if you dare to come along. Songs from this brilliant album, A Cinnaboy in the Red, Second Hand is the Song, The Small Glories is the name of the uh, duo, Cara, Cara Left and uh, J.D. Edwards. And let's say hi to uh, J.D. You've got a very powerful presence on stage, you know, uh, uh, a little bit more energy perhaps you guys could... Uh, <laughs> can we dial it down a little bit? Yeah, right, right, right. No, we ate a, a lot of sugar before uh, we came on. Today. Well, I mean, you... S you have your non-amps cranked up to 11. I mean, this is a you know acoustic act, but JD, you've got you do have a bit of a rock and roll background. Yeah, I sure do. Back home in Winnipeg, uh, I got a big old rock band, big seven-piece rock band with a couple of guitars and bass and drums and saxophone and keyboards and 
it's a lot of fun. We, 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 usually the audiences get up and dance. No one really likes to sit down at our show. <laughs> right, right. Well, you, uh, you, uh, you certainly bring that energy to the duo of you and, and Kara. I mean, so that, so that, that, that makes you stand out, which is, which is great. The harmonies, too, that you guys do. I mean, you're singing harmony through the whole song half the time, right? Yes, sir. Half the songs that you do, it's like a full, you know, wholehearted, full-throated uh, harmonies. I mean, so how hard is that for, to, to work on? Is that just something that comes naturally to you, or do you got to really work on it? Well, I mean, it's a little bit of both. I think uh, singing together, uh, Kara and I, uh, when we started singing together, it did feel really natural to sing together, and we, we really harmonized right off the top. But, I mean, we've, we've been playing a long time, I guess another, I guess it's been about five years, and, and we've worked on the songs, we've really tried to choreograph the songs, but um, they've kind of come a little bit organically, but, uh, but a li you know, there's been a lot of nurture in, uh, to it as well. And are, do you both, uh, do you write together as well, or yes, do you, yeah. you so you're, you're co-writing uh, mm -hmm, the, these songs? And when you're selecting the songs for this record, Assiniboine and the Red, I mean, I love the title. It's the yeah. name of these two rivers, but it's a great title for an album. When you're selecting the songs, I mean, what's the prerequisite? What are you looking for, Kara, when you're, when you're selecting a song for an album? Because that's, that's as hard. much work as recording the record, as yeah. picking the songs to record. Well, one of the things we, we, all, we really believe in working with a great producer, and we, this is our second album with a, a fellow in, uh, back in Canada, um, Neil Osborne. He's the lead singer of a, a big rock band, but he's got, we always say he's got the heart of a folk singer. And his mandate is you gotta serve the song. If it's a great song, it doesn't matter what genre, you're gonna play it in, a great song is a great song. So what we do is we collect all the songs that we've got together and that we, ki we kind of think, ah, you know what, this, this one's got, got the Small Glory stamp on it and we send it to him and he kind of helps us weed through it. And he also helps us edit the songs. So there are some songs that we, we think are finished and then he comes along, he's like, mm, you know what? No, we gotta tweak this and tweak that and mm -hmm. let's go on a little journey together. It's nice having that independent ear, right? That, really what is. That's not emotionally vested, the, the listening to it cleanly, yeah. clearly. So when you are recording, uh, your, your live presentation as a duo is one thing, but, but J.D., when you're in this studio, is it, is it, is it a, a temptation to bring in that rock influence onto the album, or are you keeping it uh, pretty much between the two of you on, on the album? Oh, gosh. Um, you know, we, we try to bring uh, as much influence in, uh, from, our, from our, uh, our own musical careers all the time, but just like Kara said, it's all about serving the song, so if the song requires a little bit more rock and roll, then we'll bring it. If it, you know, if it needs to be chilled out and <laughs> laid back and, and a little less, you know, energy, then, then we'll do that too. It, 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 we, we really like to um, make the songs uh, as best yeah. as they can. We don't want to... Uh, and Neil, our producer, he, he didn't want us to stray too far outside our, our roots, our folky. Yeah. So when we're bringing it with that rock element, we're not going to use an electric guitar the way that people would assume to use an electric guitar. And we're not going to bring a big drum kit in. We're going to get... Uh, our, our percussionist to make a whole bunch of wacky sounds. He would actually go and do found sounds. He, he wore a leather apron and did a, hit himself with a leather apron to give, get this unique sound. So we do a lot of stomping when we play live, and how do you capture that in the studio? Sounds like an abusive album to me. So. A little bit painful. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're going to get things a little simple now. Uh, Kara has her acoustic guitar. JD, you, you put your guitar down, so it's going to be just the two voices and, and the one guitar. This is a tune called Sing. It's a beautiful song from a cinema Boyne and the Red is the name of the album from Canada. It is the Small Glories on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. One, two, three. I could sing for the money, I could sing for the breeze. Spitting out nothing, wasting time up on the stage. The folks are bleeding freedom, deny their truth. One thing I can do is sing for you. Sing for the suffering. Working the slaves, cast in a debt they can never repay. Sing for their oppressors who still believe. See the rest of them never harmony. Sing for the rebels who forgot their cause. Dignity for all, whatever the cost. Who were looking at retirement, don't want to be poor. But what about the children ravaged by war? Time up on the stage And folks are bleeding freedom Deny their truth One thing I can do Is sing for you Sing for 
of sinners and hidden saints lurking in the shadows burdened with pain sing for a future free from the past sing for a living that's meant to last sing for togetherness and not the wall tears of human spirit are felt by And wasting time up on the stage The folks are bleeding freedom Denied their truth One thing I can do Is sing for you Wasn't it great having the small glories From Canada on our broadcast From West Liberty, Kentucky This week's Woodsong's kid Eli Patrick, 14 years old and the legendary Chuck Wagon Gang. So glad you guys could be with us. We spend a lot of time on this show talking about the songs and the artists and how wonderful and skillful and talented uh, they are. And the one thing that we can never, ever forget, and I think every artist is going to agree with me, the holy trinity of music is a great song, a great artist, but a great audience. Without you, that three-legged stool fails. You are the lifeblood of every single artist that appears on our stage, that goes around the world, whether it's the Small Glories in Canada, the Chuck Wagon Gang touring all over the world, the young kids like Eli, our Woodsongs kids. You are the power, the blood, the life force that makes all of this music work. Walt Whitman, I think, said it best, to have great artists there must be great audiences, and you are a great audience. We are so thankful. My name is Michael Jonathan. I'm a folk singer. I am a song farmer. We'll see you next week on the Woods Song. Old Time Radio. Good night. You've been listening to Wood Songs Broadcast number 974. Michael's opening song was East Virginia Blues from the Ravenwood album featuring the Chuck Wagon Band and the Small Glories on vocals and Ruth McLean Smith on upright bass. Our chief engineer is Jerome Galt. Technical assistants are Brian Clausing, Brandon Eves, and Eric Anderson. TV and internet broadcast is directed by Maria Claridge. Technical director Isaac May, assisted by Caitlin Farrell. The Wood Songs crew member of the week is Jerome Galt, and our Wood Songs partner of the week is Karen Terrell. Special support provided by Hybrid Springwater, Nate's Coffee, the staff of the Lyric Theater, and Renata's Bistro in Lexington. Our show is produced with the support of VisitLex.com, Deering Banjos, the Martin Guitar Company, Fransky String Instruments, Ear Trumpet Microphones, Travel Host Magazine, the Bluegrass Hospitality Association, and the Hilton Lexington Downtown Hotel. Welcoming visitors from all over the world to Lexington, Kentucky. Wood Songs and the Wood Songs symbol are registered trademarks of Rachel Aubrey Music. Our show is distributed worldwide by the Wood Songs Radio Network and PRX. Thanks for listening. I'm Josh Baer. For Michael Jonathan and the entire Wood Songs crew, this is Dorothy Edwards. We hope you will join us again next week for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. <laughs> The online version of Wood Songs is a free gift to our fans, provided by VisitLex.com, inviting fans and families worldwide to attend our live broadcast tapings at the Lyric Theater in historic Lexington, Kentucky. The Encore section is next. You can support this massive online archive of shows by becoming a Wood Songs partner. It's as simple as a PayPal click on our website, WoodSongs.com. Thank you, Dorothy. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, guys. Give yourselves a big hand. You are a wonderful audience. We truly meant what we said at the end of the broadcast. You guys are absolutely spectacular.
We appreciate you. A couple of quick announcements, and the artists are going to do uh, some encore performances for everybody, and they did bring their CDs. They will be in the lobby to say hello to everyone when the encores are done. So just a very, very briefly, uh, uh, Wood Songs continues its march to uh, show 1,000. In the weeks to come, pianist George Winston is going to be on our show. We've got the brother of uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Uh, Jimmy Vaughan is going to be doing a, a broadcast with us as well. All of this is happening in, in the weeks to come. Next week, we've got another amazing broadcast that we would love for you to be a part of that. The Troubadour Concert Series uh, kicks up next week. The concerts at the castle, that big castle on Versailles Road, 10 concerts this year is going to kick off Thursday, May 16th with he was the very first Wood Songs kid. Most people don't know that. And then he became the, the regular cellist on our broadcast, and now he's touring all over the world. Ben Soli on the roof of the castle uh, uh, starting on, um, on Thursday, May 16th. So if you want to go to that or find out uh, the other concerts coming, Travel and McCurry's are coming, Over the Rhine is coming, Tim O'Brien is coming, uh, Exile is going to be there in June. That show is, is selling out very fast as well. So we would love for you to be part of a concert at the castle. Um, the tickets are very inexpensive to be able to do that, and the setting is just as romantic as you can imagine. It's a wonderful date night. So husbands, if you've made her mad, <laughs> this is a way to overcome it. Bring her on a date to the castle. Um, also, the Troubadour Concert Series has more announcements coming up. Uh, Chris Isaac is coming to the Opera House. Melissa Etheridge is coming to the Opera House. Here on the stage of the Lyric Theater in October, uh, Earls of Leicester, Jerry Douglas and Earls of Leicester have a huge tribute album, their second one, to uh, Flat and Scruggs. And so all this music is happening. Matter of fact, tonight you can get tickets to Earls of Leicester if you want. Um, and we would love for you to become a Wood Songs partner to be able to come to these shows for free every single week, uh, no cost at all to you once you become a partner, and then uh, uh, become a, a, a member by, uh, be, uh, join the uh, Wood Songs email new newsletter so that you can keep abreast to all this stuff. Good Lord, there's so much going on in my head, I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna ask Miss Amelia, we have a friend of ours uh, in the audience who uh, wrote us an email, and uh, while she's uh, uh, getting our friend, I'm going to read you, yeah, come on up. I'm going to read you his email, okay? <laughs> it says, hey, Michael, we listen to Wood Songs every Sunday night in Canberra, Australia. I'm a great fan, and my wife has to delay dinner so I can listen to the show. <laughs> We've driven up from Fort Lauderdale today after getting off a cruise. We're heading to Lexington. Please uh, get me two tickets to tomorrow night's show. Many thanks, Bill Pearson. And here's Bill Pearson from Australia. <laughs> so when, when I tell you, let's, let's get you over, over here so that, that yeah. folks can see you, OK? okay. Let, me, let me move this around. Really? Yeah, this is good. <laughs> uh, you're a very good looking man from Australia. Thank so. you. <laughs> so so uh, Wood Songs is so important that you delay dinner? Uh, of course. <laughs> well, I delay dinner. My wife doesn't want me to delay, delay dinner. Uh -huh. But I listen to my uh, garage, uh -huh. um, Art Sound FM. She which makes you listen in the garage? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> man shed. Yeah. Your man shed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so but Wood Songs is a regular Sunday night uh, yes, thing for you. Yes, it is. And, and, uh, and like looking at this tonight, I didn't realize how you put it all together. We just hear the voices, uh -huh. listen to you, and it's just so fantastic. You know, the, you see everyone's taking their spot, and oh, it's just a. I'm so, 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 so you hear it on the radio, and now you're seeing it in person. Yeah. How does it compare to you? Oh, a thousand percent better here. Really? Yeah. So it sucks on the radio, is what you're saying. <laughs> 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 Well, thank you for visiting. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so <laughs> I want you to uh, help me out. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to invite, the, we're going to go in reverse order. We're going to get the Small Glories to do their, their encore uh, song first, which means they're going to come forward. They're going to come forward. <laughs> they're not going to play in their seats. And so I'm, I'm going to want you to uh, introduce them. So just, just repeat after me. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what to say, okay? So just talk into the mic. Just say, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Don't you think. Don't you think. I'm good looking. I'm good looking.
<laughs> so say, say, please welcome. Please welcome. From Australia. From, <laughs> <laughs> from Canada. From Canada. The Small Glories. The Small Glories. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> stay, stay right here. Well, thank you. We, before we do our, our, our encore song, we just want to invite, invite, we want to invite Michael to come back. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for inviting us to be part of this. This is, uh, uh, we've, we've been hearing about this program for a while, and uh, when we got news that we were invited to come and be part of it, we were very overjoyed. So, yeah, thank you. And uh, the other thing is, if you can also put your hands together for all the volunteers. This is a volunteer-run uh, event, and it's incredibly powerful. So. Uh, this last song we're going to do for you is an old Woody Guthrie tune. This is a song called Way Over Yonder in the Minor Key. And uh, this is a song that uh, we first heard on a wonderful record called Mermaid Avenue, uh, sung by the great Billy Bragg. And uh, his version is uh, absolutely fantastic, but uh, we, we, we've got our own version that we're going to play for y'all. And uh, we put it on our record, Wondrous Traveler, which you can buy out here today. And um, it's one of my favorite ones. You can hear us laughing and giggling as it sort of fades away. And uh, we thought maybe we would put it in our live show, but Kara thought, well, we, we need to kick it up a notch. So she decided to uh, put a dance in the middle of the song. And so tonight she's going to be performing for you a dance known as the Cowboy uh, because we're from, she's originally from Calgary, Alberta, home to the Canadian Cowboys. And uh, she's also going to be, uh, not only will she be dancing the Cowboy, she'll be playing the banjo at the same time. So it's kind of a, a beautiful sight to see. But uh, we often uh, invite people to come and dance in the mosh pit up in front. I'm not sure if that's going to happen tonight or not. But um, uh, it, it certainly would be fun. Uh, to see. But anyway, this is the song called Way Over Yonder in the Minor Key, and uh, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Oh, one, two, three. All right.
much, everybody. Karen JD. Come here, Bill. So Karen and JD, they're going to be in the lobby to say hello, everyone. Make sure you stop out there. Don't feel like you have to rush out and stuff. Now, uh, you listen to Wood Songs in your garage, yes. uh, uh, your man shed, yeah. uh, on Sunday evening. What station do you listen to it on? Art Sound FM. <coughs> Art Sound FM. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's such yeah, a long time affiliate yes. of ours out there. And, and when I tell the audience that uh, we're syndicated all over the world and we have millions of listeners and stuff, uh, they don't believe me. <laughs> So it's true. It's true. Yeah. Now, another thing, too, that a lot of people listening and watching, on they don't realize that most of the time we start the show and we're done in 59 minutes. We, what you hear on the radio is exactly how it happens, exactly, right? Yeah. So it's what you got to see tonight. Yeah. Except his strings broke. Yes. And, and I told him <laughs> that he should be playing Martin strings. Yes. Right? Oh, I agree. So I want you to go over there and yeah. give, give yeah. JD, say, here's a gift from Australia. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, John Pierce is a mighty fine string, but God plays Martins. Okay. All right, so now we're going to invite our Wood Songs kid, okay? So I'm going to let you introduce our, our, our Wood Songs kid. He's going to get his banjo. Notice how I direct your activity. Okay. And isn't he dressed well? Don't you think he's dressed for a young kid doing Unbelievable. Things? He's so only 14. We're showing respect for the music. He's 14 years old. So what are you going to play for us? Clinch Mountain Backstep. Okay, so I want you to introduce him, say, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. This week's Wood Songs Kid. This week's Wood Song Kid. Don't you think? Don't you think? I'm good looking. <laughs> <laughs> He's good looking. He's good. <laughs> Eli Patrick. Eli Patrick. I know that that's really uh, disconcerting when it's not in tune, right? Banjos are usually always in tune. <laughs> We're going to let them tune. This is important. It may take till next week's show. <laughs> You know what the difference is between a, a banjo and a yugo? You can tune a yugo. <laughs> Most people go, what's a yugo? Most banjo players go, what's tuning? <laughs> you think you got it? Yes. All right, why don't you try it again? It's okay, you're good.
There you go. Good job. So Eli is going to be out in the audience to say, uh, out in the lobby to say hi to the audience as well. So we've come to the end of the broadcast. Okay. And we're going to invite uh, our friends to come get ready. I'm going to let you introduce them. Now I don't want you to be nervous. <laughs> they've they've been around for over 80 years. <laughs> They've sold 40 million 40 records, million. 40 million records uh, mm. collectively, and, and they are legends in the music business, so you could really screw this up. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want so, me to do this? Yes, I do. <laughs> so repeat after me. Say, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm Bill Pearson from Australia. I'm Bill Pearson from Australia. Oh. And I, I got my G-string plucked. <laughs> and I, got, I got my G string plucked. A guitar. It's a guitar. Yeah, yeah. Say, I got my G string plucked. I got my G string plucked. On the Wood Songs Old Time Radio. On the Wood Songs Old Time Radio. Okay. <laughs> Say, please welcome. Please welcome. The Chuck Wagon Gang. The Chuck Wagon Gang. <laughs> Give them a hand. Yeah. Yeah. My trials, Lord, will soon be over. I'll cross the trail of Jordan and land. In heaven, send me up, send me down, send me down. I'll wear a crown of glory, I'll shout. The happy storm in my heart. Trials will soon be over, and I shall wear a crown. Our trials will soon be over. Our trials will soon be over. Send my love to the company. Got a spare room behind the barn for my Mac attack when I'm on the farm. You click it on, then you click around. See the cyber fun I found. boy from Tennessee But on the screen I'm so debonair I'm a cyber hunk with a full head of hair and I'm looking online 